Okay, here we are in the uh, assembly room. What we do here is we assemble the body by in installing the weight, the hook eye, the eye, and uh, we glue them together. As you can see here, we instead of using glue, we actually use a special liquid there uh, to melt the plastic. Uh, this basically is more effective in uh, sticking the glue, to, uh, sticking the body together. And as you can see, each individual lure is done by hand, one by one. Okay, so we're working on the Perako here. This is going to be released soon. Uh, it's the Tetra Works Perako. Now that's stuck together, it's ready for the next process. Okay, here we have the water leakage test. Uh, basically, we're testing each lure, see whether there's any water leakage. Um, we place the lures in this 70 degrees water, and by uh, having hot water, the air inside the lure expands. If there are any leakages, there will be bubbles coming up. And this looks like it has passed its test. No bubbles. That means it's passed its test. Okay, here I'm at the coloring booth. Um, what we're coloring here is the Tide Vibe Slim 140. This, is, this should be released in September this year, 2011. Uh, what she's coloring now is uh, our samples for our salesmen to promote, give out the shops. And Miss Saito is our coloring chief. She's in charge of the coloring section of our company. And thanks to her, she maintains the good quality of our uh, lure colors. Okay, we're here at the Duo's second coloring room. Um, as you can see, all Duo products will be colored here and are colored here. Um, depending on the lure, the process is between 5 to 15 processes, uh, depending on the color, obviously. And as you can see, each color is done, painted one by one, by hand. And let's have a closer look at what she's doing over here. Here she's doing a process called masking. Basically, what she does is she is painting the pattern. This color is the very popular bluegill color. It looks efficient, but with so many processes, it takes a long time. Okay, here we have the printing machine. Uh, this machine basically prints out the name of the lure on the back, and she's doing that one by one. It's done by a pretty manual process, as you can see. And this is what it looks like. This is, a, this is a finished print. And not only does this machine print the name, but also patterns such as this. 
Okay, here we have the duo staff quality checking each individual lure. Uh, the lure has been painted and the name has been printed, as you can see. And they quality check each individual lure and one by one. And if there are any, any dust or uh, scratches on the lure, uh, they discard those lures and those that pass go on to be packed.